Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon, and we've got a visitor, but he's not very well, um, Pete. So he's gone to have a lay down. So we're trying to do stuff that's um, a bit quiet, so we don't disturb him. So we're over in the workshop. I need a mirror for the apartment two bedroom, and I'd like to do some objet d'art, um, which basically is stick a load of rubbish on a mirror and make it look good. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe it. Anyway, um, I've done this before on like book covers and, and things like that and, and bottles and, and I think it looks really good. So um, I've the mirror, we um, we did go to buy a mirror but couldn't really see one I liked. So, and they're all really expensive. So we've got this blue mirror that we got from the bathroom downstairs. It was in the bathroom when we got here. I've cleaned it up, um, stuck some tape on it. So first thing I'll do is give it a paint. And then I've got loads of bits. I've got my old bag of, um, of keys. Do you remember the old, um, all the keys that we found um, in the house? I've got loads of flowers. I've got loads of beads. Um, I've got a bit of everything. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of lay it out and, and see where it goes, really. Um, see what happens. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I thought I brought a paintbrush in with me. Yes, I did. Nice new paint. I love new paintbrushes. Um, is use this. It's called G Gesso. Um, and it's kind of a paint that goes in everything, but it's also a glue. So it, it glues things together. So the first job is just to, uh, to give it um, a brush over. Everything I put on here will all be covered in white chalk paint in the end anyway but um, this just by painting it with this it means that anything I put on it will really stick to it um, which will be good so while I'm doing my painting I'm going to show you a bit of footage from this morning I did my first bit of jam making this morning um, and Jordan and Amy come over and uh, it was a good bit of fun actually and to think we got so much free jam just from using uh, the trees in the garden so this is Jordan, Amy and me making their first lot of jam so they say, didn't they say two kilos would make about eight pots of jam. That's with blackberries, yeah. Yeah, but this is six kilos of both. Yeah? yeah. So you've got, how many pots is that? That's 24 pots. You ain't got enough jars. Well, I've got a big jar up there that I could put some in. Where's the big jar? <laughs> up the top there. <laughs> yeah, clear one of them out. Okay, so this is Jordan and Amy over making blackberry. No, what's it? Elderberry and blackberry jam. Woohoo! <laughs> what are we on now? And it's free because it's from the garden. 7.2 kilos. 7.2 kilos? The only thing is, is, the only thing is, is Lisa only eats strawberry jam. <laughs> so I suppose it's down to me. No, I do eat, I eat you blackberry. Don't eat I do. You only eat Ever. We've oh. never bought anything but strawberry jam. I know, it's because, yeah, I prefer strawberry jam because you don't know when the black, like the blackberry jam you get, how, what it's like really, do you? <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? They're all like different, aren't they? They're all like... Taste the blackberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got seven, shall we? Because there was a bit of water in there. It's probably got carpet, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> white, white carpet. These are terrible to flat there. Well, we've painted all our walls in our kitchen white, oh, haven't we? Yeah. And there's a nice big elderberry splat now. Yeah. I went to the elderberries in the bin and they just went all over the wall. And it'll come back and haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> you just every time paint it, every year, paint it <laughs> over. Right. But, oh. um, so what do we do now? We just heat them up now and then all the berries sort of burst in the juice. Yeah. And then we're going to filter all the skins and everything. We'll crap out. And then we'll make jam. It's looking good. It's starting to smell quite nice. So what are we selling at? Four euros fifty a pot. Twenty pots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not doing bad. Nearly made a nearly, nearly made a day's wage. Yeah, it's more of a, it's like, it is a jam, but it's like a jelly jam. It's, it's like, yeah, like, um, what they call it? Not a compote, not, um, uh, 
And they call it a confiture or something, yeah. 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 which is like, yeah. Yeah, if it was, just, jelly, if yeah. It was just blackberries, you probably could just melt it down like that and do it. But, yeah. I mean, your mum does, it. she makes strawberries on it, and make strawberries yeah. on it, and you just chop them all in. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, so I know. We never get a drink if this is Christmas. I should sort of put it in a pass and send it back to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty dry now, really. Yeah. Compared to what it was. So what we're doing now, we're getting all the juice out yeah, of the... Yeah, we're getting the juice through from the berries, uh, which is in there. Cool. And then we'll make the jam out of that. So would this, this will be like a seedless yeah. jam? Yeah. Jaffa jam. He almost knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He does, yeah. doesn't he? Almost. <laughs> yeah. Someone's going to tell me this is the best bit that I'm throwing away. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thrown that away. It yeah. does look quite. I was well, like, Mr. Kip. How many kilos are we having of sugar? 5.6. 5.6. I'm going to double check that, but I think it's 5.6. And we've got it. Well, we had over 7 kilos of fruit. Yeah, so I'll put this in there. And this is what it looks like. That looks really lovely, actually, doesn't it? Like really shiny and smooth and yeah. rich. That's gorgeous. Yeah, why not? And then we'll mix the pepsin with the 600 gram mixture. Yeah. We're going to see these Wow. Oh my goodness me! Give it a stir. Yeah. Yeah, we can get it on the uh, on the heat. Near it on. Should we make jammy dodgers one day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, does. Oh, it is on the spoon. It's sticky, isn't it? It's really weird because you get it tastes better as it goes. So you take yeah. the spoon and you think, oh, that tastes good, and then the rest of it comes through yeah. and goes, and you go, oh, that's really good actually. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't worry too got, much because it's going to jam on there, isn't it? Yeah. It's got like, um, yeah, yeah. You get the flavour of the elderberries kind of afterwards, yeah. don't you? No, no. No, just whack it in. Don't rub it well. Oh, I suppose you can get it out. Yeah. I want some, I want some rice pudding now. <laughs> so, oh, big yeah. dollop of jam. Oh, really nice in there. We've been having, in the bro morning, bro you have more than me, breakfast with um, yoghurt, oats, and then banana oh, and jam. yourself. It's good, it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jam. yeah. <laughs> So this is my half of the jam and this lot of jam cost us five pounds to make. So when you think each of these jars, a bit, a bit of dust on the jar, <laughs> each of these jars normally cost in the shop what even a couple of quid even if you buy the cheap stuff. So um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and then the big jars at the back. Um, so you're looking at, if I'd have bought this, I would have probably paid 30, 40 quid for it at least. Um, yeah, great jam making day. Thank you, Jordan and Amy. Yeah. Right. It's been a good jam making session and uh, it'll be a yearly day. Soon. Got all your jam in there. Great. There you go. Yeah. Plenty of jam, keep us going. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Lisa. Okay, so I've painted the mirror um, and I've started thinking about designs. I've got a load of these lovely um, flowers. And if you paint the flowers with gecko, flower not painted or floppy, flower with gecko, gesso, sorry, 
nice and hard. Um, so it goes like plastery, really nice. Um, so I'm going to kind of do a bit of a design on the on the bottom of the mirror, uh, well, all around the mirror actually. Okay, so I've got my glue gun. Um, I'm going to start with sticking the flowers on. Then I'm going to do a bit of beading. Um, I've got loads of buttons, nice stuff. I'm just going to see where it goes really, see what happens with it. So um, yeah, let's, let's get started. Okay, so beading. I think I fancy a bit of beading, but I'm not really sure what I want. So um, I think I'm going to try just try some of these little beads that I've got here. Um, don't forget, they're not all going to be multicolored. So um, when they're finished. Now I found in the DIY shop some um, some bags. I um, don't know if you can see them. I don't really even know what they are, what they're used for, but um, but they're quite pretty and um, good for use for decoration. I used to buy packs of cogs, um, you know, like little uh, metal cogs that I used to do on things like this. But they they were quite expensive. That was like a couple of euros, and not even that for a pack. Um, so I've got some different sizes and I'm going to use some of that. It's just literally looking at the different sort of shapes and textures that when you paint it and then you gild over the top that will really come through. Okay, so I'll finish the first part. Um, the thing with object art is that you need to layer you need to do lots of layers and um, and paint as you go so um so you can get all your paint in there or your gesso in there so i've done the first bit i've done all me sort of bits of beading bits of flower work i'm now going to give it a coat of gesso it will need a few coats and then it means tomorrow i can start with another layer and start putting uh, some more um, little treasures on there it's Monday morning everybody and it's absolutely glorious day over here at the Hod VN and um, both of us are in the workshop because we have our friendly neighbourhood electrician doing some work for us. Thank you Lee. Um, very short notice as usual. He, uh, he, he, he turns up and the, the boy just gets on with it. And I think that's fantastic. So he's doing some work in two. So I'm not in two today. Um, I thought I'd be in the barn. And what I'm doing is I'm um, starting to do the altar table or both altar tables. And what I'm doing is taking all the bark. As you can see, all these lovely chippings down here are all bark chippings. And I've taken the bark off the edge of this lovely piece of Douglas fir that we purchased. Um, but over here, you'll see that that is the other board that we had. This is the one I already had and we purchased this one recently. Um, and that has still got the bark on it. Now, I am going to hopefully go and, if it's not terribly expensive, get some really heavy duty varnish outdoor varnish yacht varnish as i know it um and try and seal that edge because i think it would look pretty spectacular if it was in the room with the with the bark and somebody not a million miles away from here would really love it if i could do that so we'll try and do that and see what happens um i think i'll do that for the big one in the bedroom but i'm wandering over to the other side of the workshop barn well, Andy Pandy. Well, Andy Pandy. <laughs> her own words, nice. Look at that. They're, they're great, aren't they? They're fantastic. That's a proper summer, that is. Somebody is doing wonderful things to uh, a Brocant mirror. Again, not for a lot of money. I don't know where that one came from. But no, this uh, actually came from the bathroom. 
Do you oh, did it? Oh, right. Ones, there you go. Look, the bathroom. bathroom. So even even cheaper. Didn't cost a penny. Even cheaper. So uh, Lisa is doing that um, today, and that is to go into the bedroom uh, vanity area of two. So it's all all hands on deck for apartment two. Let's let's have a lovely day working together <laughs> in the van. You love working with oh, me. Oh, you, you? So, what is it that you um? So you're saying this weekend you yeah. want to do a quick run through? Yeah. So Sunday, I'll get we can have Bronny. Sunday rather than Saturday. I think it's Sunday. Don't Sunday you? was it Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, it was. You know. If, People are happy to do Sunday. So we have Bronnie, Sheila, Mikey said he'd come down. That's it, isn't it? Oh, the Kita. Yeah. And I think... I'm um, wondering whether to split them, because if we've got Saturday and Sunday, I'm wondering whether Kita, um, to say, does she want to come in on Sunday and not Saturday? That's probably a nice idea. And then just... coming Saturday. So um, Sheila and Mikey come in both days if they can. Yeah. Saturday, I think, is going to be the busiest because that's the days that the mayor's really advertising. Yeah, you know, and it kind of stands to reason, especially because Sunday's quite a you know, family day for yeah. the, for the, But then, you know, you never know. People do walking and stuff, so... Exactly. So, so you might get a lot of Sunday afternoon, very, yeah. you know, rather than... You know, I wonder if you'll get Sunday morning, but certainly I think Sunday afternoon you'll get stuff. So what are you talking about? That you want to do a sort of a sort of a briefing? I just want to do a briefing. I want to make sure everybody knows their jobs. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about how we want it to run on the day, what okay. we're serving. So I want to actually do the platters so that they can see yeah. what is going to be on the platters, yeah. um, what they're going to be serving, how I want them served, how I, they want to, I want them to look. Um, I think it's a good idea if you do the platters, take pictures, yeah. and then you, you, know, you, you know that you don't have to, to think about this. You know, you know you've got, right, okay, that's, it, that's exactly why I want it yeah. laid. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, my job really is to... Well, you're going to be doing the English tours. Yeah, I know. So, on the day. I'm not talking about on the day. Oh. I'm talking about for the weekend when you're doing that. I need to get all the tables varnished and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. But, you know, that's the thing. So... I need to get the tablecloths done. I need to make aprons. Because they cost a fortune. So if I make them with pockets in so they can put their... Um, pads and pens, yeah. Pads and pens and everything. Yeah, I'd make them. It's a shame you didn't get a load of that other material because you make them out of the tablecloth material. Well, I could see what I've got any left. It'd be nice because yeah. the, cause I think it's nice heavyweight material yeah. as well, and it? it'd be nice for an apron. Yeah. Okay, okay, so that's just a little brief. Okay, so this morning it's time to start work on the dresser. Now, if you remember, we got this donated to us um, from the neighbours up the road. Bernadette and Noel, thank you to them. Um, are you gonna get... Pardon? So are you gonna pack as well? Yeah. So we brought a piece of worktop and um, well you'll see what we're gonna do with it. We'll show you. Um, instead of talking about it. But uh, Ted's coming in to measure it all. And um, and then I'm gonna paint it and Bob's your uncle. We'll have a kitchen. So what are you doing there then? So I'm painting the, the unit and first of all I found a blue sort of turquoisey paint that I thought I was going to use. It's too blue for in here. So I've mixed up my own chalk paint. Um, so I'm going to paint the green and then I think I'm going to paint antique white over the top and then sand it back so you've just got the green coming through. But um, I painted it green first. See what I think. I think that's a good. good it's color, not. It's a nice color. Um, I don't know whether it will show quite on the video, but yeah. So there's the original blue that you tried. Yeah. Which um, again, yeah, very, very 
very sort of baby it's blue. It's a bit too blue. Yeah, yeah. a bit, bit nice. But that's that's the nicer grain, maybe more in keeping. And because it's only going to be the base colour, is that right? Yeah. So the white is going to be the main colour. Are you going to gild this at all? Yeah, I'm going to gild it as well. Oh, lovely. But the only thing is, I might gild it with silver gild. I don't know yet, because we've got silver tap, haven't we? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. So I might do silver gilding instead. The worktop is dark brown. Yeah. So very much in keeping with all the woodwork everywhere else. Yeah. Um, and enormous. So, um, so, yeah, so hopefully... By the end of the week, we might see a big difference with this, won't we? Well, yeah, you might do. Um, I'm going to go and chop up the... Well, I was just doing the doors on the bottom, but I don't think I really need to do a lot to them, apart from just take the paint off the edges. Um, what are you doing, animal? This animal is now here with us most of the time. Hello. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. The nice thing is, is because we're doing this uh, the way we're doing it now, we can retain all the drawers and all the features of the actual dresser. So um, we have a slight issue, as we were talked about earlier, about the, the electrics, because we've covered up the two plug points and the electrical, um, the outlet. However, we should be able to get around that. And our electrician is very, very, very clever. What about the way you seem to have one of those pop-ups? Yeah, I don't like the idea of having another pop-up, um, no. especially in here. No, I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't like that. Um, what I may do is get Lee to change all the single sockets for double sockets. Yeah, because I think we might um, need a few more in here. Yeah, well, considering it just gives the option, certainly in the bedroom area... Hello, little cat. Morning, little cat. What are you doing, little cat? Are you having your dinner? Have you had your dinner? Have you had your dinner? Are you going to play with Mummy because she's in here? Hello, Mummy. Hello. Look at this lovely cabinet that's all a particular colour now. So what are you doing, Bob? Um, so I've painted it the green. This is nice. I like it. Well, I made this green up, and I think it's a really good colour, actually. It's um, it's a sort of a darker shade of what's on the wall. Yeah. So I'm now highlighting in the white, um, and then we will. So what I'm doing is just getting. I've got a dry brush. What you call a dry brush is very little, so you just pat your paint out and just, so you haven't really got a lot of so you haven't got much paint you've got wet it. paint but a, you know just a tiny little bit of yeah yeah and then you just very gently take your brush and just so pat your thing out and then very gently just run your brush over your piece and your brush will do your work for you it will pick out all the edges and just highlight them so it looks like it's worn mm. and then what I'm going to do is sand it back so that we've got a little bit of uh, wood showing through as well yeah then do a bit of gilding and then wax it. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. All done. Oh, hello. Where did you get from? Um, excuse me. Um, this sounds fascinating, and we will come back and show the various situations. However, my dog, my big black dog, has decided to get upstairs and probably quickly followed by the other one. And terrorise the cat. And terrorise the cat. Hansi, you're not lying down. Come out. 
Right, see you later. All right, baby, come back see how I'm doing later. Yep. After a little distraction yesterday, where me and Michael went up the road and had our hair cut and various other bits and pieces, I am continuing on when I get my dogs out of the area, out, both of you, cheeky little. Look at them. Think they can go, you think you can go anywhere? Go out. So this is it. So, as I said, after a little distraction yesterday, we are now back to work. My hair looks terrible this morning because it's bed hair. But we're back in the workshop upstairs in three. As you can see, the window is a bit clearer because I managed to not all the way up, but certainly to the window sill. Um, head over the window sill, as it were, and pull most of the ivy off, so you can see a little bit there. Um, they are quite a lot of cobwebs, as my dear old mum said yesterday. Enough cobwebs to make curtains, but we'll clear them away when we get when we get brave enough. But yeah, so today is the, uh, to making the, finishing, trying to finish making the auto table. I don't know whether I'll get to do the actual finish on the table, but I want to get all the joints cut and it assembled. So make sure it's okay. I'm going to probably have to assemble it in a room because it's quite big. It's two meters long by about 300 millimeters wide um, and about 900 millimeters high. So to the sort of like regular worktop height. It's gonna have these chunky legs. So this is 70 by 180 by 900 long and then mortise and tenon into the top. And what I'd like to do, well, I'll go into that bit when I get there, but uh, just to joint it in a, in a little bit of a different way. All these things, if I try these things out, then I'll find my preferred method of doing stuff. And that's probably what I'll stick with doing a lot of stuff. But yeah, all these methods that I've come across in my time, um, I'm gonna try out. Okay, so back to working on the mirror. Um, let it dry overnight and uh, I've just done a few more embellishment bits on it, put some more beads, put some ribbon. Like I said yesterday, this is really about layering up and having different layers. So you have to keep letting it dry in between. So it's probably going to take me all week to do this because I'm just going to have to keep coming. I'll probably come in each morning, layer a bit more, go off for the day, um, let it dry, come back the next day and just keep adding bits. So it'll be quite interesting to see how it works out by the end of the day. You don't really know where it's going until um, the end of the week, because I don't know where it's going. A bit like um, a picture, a bit like a painting. It is a bit like some, a painting. Some, yeah, you know, painting, painters, don't they? Yeah. I like the idea of that, that you don't really know where it's going. Yeah. Until, and then the worst thing is knowing when to stop. Yeah, yeah, that is trouble knowing when to stop, especially with this sort of thing, because you keep piling stuff on, and then you suddenly realise you've got a bit too much. But um, no, it's coming along. I'm not thrilled with it at the moment, but I've got lots more to go on there. So, um, yeah, we'll just see what it looks like once. Um, Hello, dogs. Hello, dogs. We've got another dog here today, uh, Marley. So we've got three to contend with today. Um, Ayers was in the uh, the pen, but when they saw Marley, they decided just to uh, jump over the fence and come in and play. Where's Bessie Boo gone? Bessie Boo. Where's Bessie Boo gone? Where's that busy boo? <laughs> and look, he's laying right on top of him. That's what they do. Right, come on. That's 
Slept through the leg. There's a, there's a hole there, and then a peg goes through. That's, that's the. Well, that's that. That goes, sits in there. So I'm going to chop those out a little bit, not a lot. So that's the supporting bar that goes through the two yes. legs. Yeah, that'll go all the way through the leg. So the leg is here. I've cut the, cut the tendons on the, on the legs. So they'll go into the leg, into the top, like that. Then this goes through here like this. And you're going to do through, pegs. All the way through there. And then there'll be a peg on that side to knock it through that way. Cool. You should make some of these to sell when we're open and we've got a little shop. Yes, dear. Because <laughs> I think they're great. Yes, dear. What do you want me to do in the afternoon? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, that's, I'd love to get to that stage where, you know, that you can refine your skills. Because I ain't really, you know, I'm learning as I go along. But it's what I should be doing really probably is, is making jigs and templates. Yeah. Because then it's just repeatable, isn't it? But I'm not really sure. I might make a template to cut out the the mortises because the mortises are just going to be all the way through this top and then all the way through the legs. So you know, it's not it's not like you're going to hit. They're going to be hidden. They're going to be seen, and you can see you'll see the mortises in the top here. Because I've got a little idea, which I'm not going to say anything about. Um, it's a little, it's a little it's surprise. It's a technique I've it? seen I really like. Um, but it's a case of making like a template so I can route it. And then put those through. And then, so you'll see, that's the thing. I, so I kind of like the idea of seeing the tenants through the, through the here. Yeah. I think there's something, I think they're called something specific, but I'm not sure. But cool. that's, that's an idea. Come back later and see how you do. Oh, it's an hour warm today. It is warm, even though there's a little breeze cut, outside. It's really warm. I hope it do not rain because I want to cut the grass later. Or cut, finish cutting the grass later. But it's warm, it's warm. I won't have to have cold things. So we're back with the auto table. Um, I've got a slight issue. So this is the, as you see, the legs and the bracing. And the top is not finished yet because I'm going to do a special fixing on the top and I need to sand it back when I've done that. But the bracing is the stain, the wind stain that we've had before. The legs are... Uh, this is Douglas fir. This is stuff I found out of the barn. Um, an old bit of, I don't know what it is, pine, I suppose. It's a real solid lump, 70 by 180, which has made some lovely legs. The top is, as I said before, 300 by two, just under two meters, 300 wide with a, a wany edge on it. Um, but that's, and I like the fact that these are all split. As you see there, look, there's some big splits in them. And we've done a through tenon, through tenon all the way through here. Um, it's still a bit wet because I'm trying to, and I'm trying to get, let me see if I come down the other end, you can see it better. So there you go, it's a through tenon and a little peg through there, sort of very traditional style. Um, and that's the first time I've ever done that, which is, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, but it was a bit of a pain to cut the holes in there because, as I said, my half inch router, my one that I borrowed has gone back to its owner. Why is it that, look, what a state, look at it, look. I don't get any time to clear it up. It's just a, it's just a bloody mess. It's a bloody mess. I don't know how I work in this. I can't work in these conditions. I can't work anymore. Um, got a slight movement in the top, 
Um, so I'm going to try and take, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But uh, this is quite nice though. That's, that's all right. Okay, Very so back in apartment two. I finished doing the paint work and um, let's get a closer look so you can see kind of what it looks like at the moment. Um, I actually kind of like it like this. But we're going to take it one step further. And what I've started doing is just with a bit of sandpaper. Oh, let me get down. Um, just running it over the edges. So you just take off some of the edges as if it really has been worn. You don't want to take off too much. And you just have to think of areas that might have got worn over the years. So especially this front panel that's on the floor, a lot of feet would have uh, scuffed against it. So, um, and then we've got the drawer areas here that would have had a lot of uh, use. So, I'm going to finish taking some bits off and then we're going to come back and do a bit of gilding. Okay, so we're at the gilding stage now. Um, finished sanding back this piece anyway. I've still got the others to do. But um, it would be good if I could get one piece finished today. Um, now I'm trying to think whether to go for silver gilding or gold gilding. Gold is quite classical on these type of pieces. So I think I'll go for gold. I might do a bit around the side and just have a look and, uh, and see what it looks like. But um, yeah, time for gilding. Oh. I think she's making herself at home. Are you making yourself at home? You better not put your claws in that. Okay, so we're back in the workshop. Another Andy Pandy day. The good thing with these is you can't tell whether it's covered in paint or not because it's so many different colours. Um, and it's it's so hot here today. It was a really hot day yesterday. It's really weird weather at the moment. So yesterday and today is over 30. Tomorrow is supposed to drop to 14. What's with that? Um, anyway, we're back in the workshop with the mirror. And I'm really sorry, I'm not quite with it today. I just can't seem to wake up this morning. But um, I've, I've sort of had a sort out of all my boxes, of all my craft bits to see what else I can, I can stick on the mirror. I've got some ribbon on there, um, I've got my flowers, a bit of beading, uh, but I found these lovely um, wooden uh, pieces of butterflies, birds, some keys. I was going to put some of my um, proper keys, you know, my bag of keys, but um, I've, I, don't, I don't know. I might still put just a couple on there. I'm not sure whether I want to use them for this or save them for something else, but... Um, but we'll see. Or the other idea is I just put one on each item that I make. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, so as you, oh, we could do a treasure hunt. Find the key. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Go around the chateau and see where you can find the keys that Lisa's hidden in her um, objet d'art. Objet d'art. Objet d'art. I think it's called. I think it's called. Anyway. So I've also found, you know, I've got my, my cogs that I brought from the, um, the Book of Marche and I've um, put some of them together into uh, little um, 
um, designs. So uh, stuck them together. So I'm going to stick them on. I've got some of my. I found just that found some from when my daughter was doing some um, jewelry making, some chains. So I'd like to add some chain into it because I think the uh, that will pick out some really nice um, gilding. So yeah, let, let's have an, another day of uh, trying to see what we can stick on it. <laughs> Hope it comes out well, actually. Um, I think it will. I think it will. At the moment, it always looks a bit of a mess, but it, it, it looks better once you get started. So I'm going to put my GoPro on, um, do a bit of a time lapse. So this is a good reason why not to throw anything away. This was um, from the stems of the flowers that I cut off. These are the flowers I used um, to go on the on the mirror here. You can see them here, and um, and you've got this uh, bit of wire on the end of it that I didn't need all of. So I've kept the wire. Twiddled it round um, a thin pin and made this, which I think is really pretty and will have a really nice sort of 3D effect. Um, so it's just a good example of why you never throw anything away. You can use every single bit of uh, material that you've got. So I'm going to do a few more of them, put them on, and then I think the mirror is kind of finished then. Um, it's looking good. You know, we've got some cogs, flowers, beads, smaller beads, little butterflies, bigger butterflies. Some bits of twine, keys. don't know why this flower will not go white. It's gone hard, but it will not take the uh, gesso white. But hopefully when I paint it, it will. So, yeah. Um, we've got our chain here. So we've got lots of lots of different bits on there. I think it's looking really pretty now. Um, I don't want to do too much more now because I think I'm going overboard. So um, I'm going to stick these last bits of uh, curly wire on, give it a paint up, and then we'll see what we're going to do with it next. Back in apartment two with Teddy Bear. And the kitchen is taking shape. So this is the old dresser that we've revamped. And it now has a worktop on it. It has a hole where a hob will go. It's got electrics attached to it where the oven will go. It has a sink and a tap. The pipework's been boxed in and there's going to be a curtain down there. So the next job is to get the top part up on its stand. And we're going to give it a go. So once we get it on there, we can manoeuvre it about. Okay. And that's the, the first first lift up onto the worktop, yeah? Yeah. So underneath. Ready? Steady. Go. Right. All the way out until I tell it to stop. Stop. Onto the worktop. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ready? So, if you to think of one, two, three, one. go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, put it back there. Right. Ready? One, two, two three, go. go. Oh, no. No. That's it, right, one side's on. Side on. Yep. yep. Right. Right. Okay, hold on. Take your side. Yep. It's fine. So, hopefully, it's going to slot in at the, it needs to slot in at the back. But I don't know whether it's going to slot in at the back. No, it needs to. Oh, this one. This one. No, it needs to be this one. 
bare sige, ja, ja. Hvor er det? Vi skal have en tort. Det var det. Way. Oh, man, that's that. Right. So it's pushing out the back. The back hasn't gone in. Oh. Yeah. The back hasn't gone in. So I should have. Happening. I should have done it before I bloody secured it at the back. Oh, you see? Ha! Ah, it's dropped in. Right. Is it dropped in yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. So. I think I'm going to have to probably screw these two in there. But nobody's going to see them, are they? Because no. I've just nailed them in. Yeah. She's probably just pulled the nail out. But, see she's in. She's well, in. I ain't got no Well, I'm going to brace it at the top. So just, because if you've had people opening, opening jaws and stuff. Woohoohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Get another piece of furniture. Um, this is what is commonly known as, or what Lisa likes to call it, an altar table. Um, and no, don't concern yourself, we're not getting all religious. Um, it is just a thin table of about 900ml high, um, and just made out of four pieces of wood. Oh my giddy arm. It's exactly 900 mil high. Um, um, then it's mortise and tenon in the top here. Long mortise and tenons through here with oak pegs to fix it in there. So there's no fixings in this. This is all just um, tight fitting joints. I don't know. I don't know if they call them loose fitting ten tenons or whatever. I'm not sure. Please somebody tell me what I've done <laughs> because. Uh, that's what it is. So, you know, um, to, to fix it together, I fixed the two legs with a bracing bar and then dropped this on because these come all the way through. Then I pegged these. So I split the, te uh, split the tenon, drove in a little wooden peg, um, a hardwood peg. So that sort of separates out that thing and then locks that in place. And then it's just stained with the stain that we've, we like. Um, and it's not come out bad. I'm not particularly pleased. I don't like using stain because I can never get it right, but it doesn't look too bad. But what I might do is wax it over the top um, because that'll give it a real no lovely shine. Put stuff on, um, you know, if anybody wants to do that sort of thing. But, uh, and there's still loads of room in between that and the bed so that's a really good choice of Lisa's to say I want an altar table um, and hopefully we fulfilled the brief. It's a bit exciting day today, today because Lee the electrician has been around and I'm going to show you what he's done. Okay we're going into the tower. Oh let it focus. So into the tower and there's the boot room. The very dark, dingy boot room. But, yee We've got lights in the boot room. Lights in the boot room. So the boot room is all, now all lit up. Um, we haven't got lights in the car yet. But we've got lights in the boot room. So exciting, exciting. Because that means that, Charlene, when you come, um, we can get on with working on the boot room. But there's something even better. Let me take you through to the outside. Okay, as you can see, it's quite light outside. And let me just go over to the top of the garden so you can see a proper look. Okay, here we go. Here is for the big reveal. Woohoo! We've got lights on the tower. Look at that. <laughs> it looks amazing. It don't look any good on there, the way it looks out here. It looks better for real, but we have light and it looks spectacular. I love it. 
and it's so lovely now sitting outside with light um, we've got some more lights that will go around the uh, the courtyard area but that's going to be done tomorrow so I'll show you that tomorrow so I love it I turn think... around baby here we are in a lit up Chateau de Montmagny it's wonderful it's wonderful. Well done to Lee, electrician. Yeah, Lee, you are a, a, a diamond. See you a later. Diamond geezer. We're going to go to have a glass of wine to celebrate. I think so. Okay, mirror finished. I'm really pleased with it, actually. I think that's gorgeous. I think that's really, really lovely. Yeah, I like it. And it's unique and it cost me absolutely nothing. And I've even stuck on it a little handmade with love. So we've got all their flowers, a key. So I think I might do that where we put in each room a key somewhere. So you know where to find this one anyway. So, kitchen's finished? Yeah, almost. It's, um, yeah, there's a couple of things that need to be done. Somebody needs to gild the pillars. Yeah, for some Just reason. I completely reason. forgot about the pillars, so they have been gilded, look. Yeah. Um, just tiled, to down the tiles. On the tiles that we line from, from the kitchen area, they're so nice, they go so well. I oh, think it looks fabulous. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put a little shelf in here. Um, just to accommodate the drying rack that we bought, uh, we found one that was nice because it fitted in there. Um, and yeah, just a fairly, fairly decent shelf. So, you know, a couple of, couple of plates, uh, knives and forks, if anybody's staying, you know, they've got somewhere to do that and it drains over this area, which is really good. Do you know um, what the most amazing thing is? What's that? Well, let me just step back to the beginning of this room, to the doorway. And you've got a very large sofa in here. Which I always thought, and I, you know, hold out my hands, it just looked massive in here and made the room look quite small. But now you've but got now, a huge sofa, you've got that big piece of furniture, and there is still so much space and, in here. And the lovely thing is, is that we found these two little chairs quite a long time ago in a Bracon, and we've got enough room to put these up here and I've made for future consumption a little table a little table out of something Undable. really interesting Undable. French lesson for today Undable. is it la table because cause well, a table Undable yeah, or la table but la table is uh, the table isn't it it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's masculine the table um, so yeah we're going to make it we've made a little table and that's for future consumption so watch keep next watching. week maybe next week so i love this i absolutely love well, it well everybody i have to say oh. since since um has come up and had a look has gone wow you know and I, I, you know and the thing is that it's a big piece of furniture it's it's a big construction this is 2.6 meters long by so 6 650 millimeters wide and that, that's the bit of furniture. And yeah. you've got that in here. And I don't know why, but it makes the room look bigger. It does, doesn't it? It's amazing. And There's you know, still so I, much space in it. And when I pointed out uh, earlier on somebody that there was a fridge under there, they were knocked out. And they and I think that's great. And you know, and it looks 
you know, it looks really nice. So let's go through what we've got in here. You've got the fridge under here. So you've got the fridge. This is the fridge area. Yeah. Fridge nice fridge. Away. We've got a worktop piece there. That drainer won't be on there, but uh, that'll no, be up this top. Worktop piece. And that's nice to have a welcome box on there. Perfect for that. You know, there's a window. That, there's a window there that opens inwards, obviously, and we put a little hook on there in case you want to do. It. But you have got enough room to move that out and put it over here if you want to, so and you can open the window. We've got the sink and the then tap. You've got little sink, um, uh, tap. Underneath here, you've got enough room for a bin. Um, and some some utensils, you know, for the uh, for cleaning if you want to do that. In here, you're going to have all the stuff you need for a kitchen. In here, you need all the stuff for a got kitchen. Got an oven there. We've You've got, got a little, little, a little coffee oven, maker. Grills, coffee maker. Coffee stuff. Double hot plate, which is pretty fantastic. You know, like that. That's a ceramic hot plate. Um, which again, not a lot of money, but really, really worth the thing. You just sunk it in there, you know, so it works really well. And, and you know, you've got plug sockets at the back here. I incorporate my light switch, which I was so happy about, let's face it. I didn't like to do that. I oh, think it's brilliant, baby. You've still got your little heater under here. And we were talking, I was talking earlier about it does get cold in here, but this little heater is fabulous. Once the doors are shut, you're not going to need anything else heating wise. It's going to be lovely. Really, really comfortable. The sofa is really comfortable because Lisa's made all the beautiful cushions. Um, people rave about the wallpaper, rave about everything. I would be knocked out if this was our apartment for the week. I would be. You know, I'm I kind, think it's brilliant. I, I love kind it. of like the idea of moving in. <laughs> But you can't. We've got to rent it out. I but I, I think you've done a fab job, baby. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So. Well done. We've got a lot done this week, but it now means that we've only got one week until a grand opening and a guest arrive on the Monday. Oh, my lordy, lordy. <laughs> First guest. So um, next week, you'll get to see the grand opening, air run up to it, everything that's going to happen over the course of the week, which is going to be pretty horrendous. And let's hope for a successful opening. It'd be amazing it's from the, from the tent to here. And now open. <laughs> In eighteen months. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. See like you soon. Like and subscribe and all that. Yeah. Thank you. Nice Bye. to see you back. Oh, don't forget to find us on Google and write a review. Yeah, do that. There's see you later, thing everyone. You've got to do. You got your work cut out. <laughs> See you later. Time for dinner. Oh. Um, well done, baby. Hunger Good up. week. Right. Good week. Yeah. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters, from our patrons to our GoFundMe donors, the people that are buying us a coffee on Go Buy Me A Coffee, and you, our subscribers, each week watching the adverts for us to give us a little bit of income each month. Even if it just adds up to a bag of sand, it all helps. Take care, everyone. See you all next week. Bye-bye.